You know, it's interesting when you do, we've done what, 112 shows now and we do six a week, they all sort of blend together. Like if somebody said to me, what was on the show yesterday? I'd really have a hard time telling you. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> this. The producer a, a came to me and said, can we make a big tongue and how can we do a tongue? So this tongue is a piece of foam rubber that's been glued on to the outside edge after we shaped it. And then we've just added this red material. It seems that once I started making big elements, it's almost like I need a giant Xerox machine that I would put a small one in and I would hit like 400% and blow it up. Just press a little bit here. Nice. See, it's a much more controlled. <laughs> when they said to me, make a big zit, this is what I ended up coming up with. And they said, we would like to pop it. And I thought, how can I, so I started looking at pictures of zits. And I said, how can I make it pop? So I immediately I started thinking of what materials would I use? So inside here, we came up, we sort of started, and I have a great crew that helps me. I don't do this alone. It really takes a village. And I have all these carpenters and painters, and they sort of do what I tell them to do. So th this started out as just some, a piece of wood with foam rubber and then latex over it. And then we, our, our idea was to find a way to make it so it had some sort of give to it so you could sort of pop it. So we put in a, a canal in the inside of this. We took a big thing of white latex and we filled it with coconut custard, which seemed to be the right consistency <laughs> for zit material, I don't know. You don't get this explosion, this I've been very, very um, careful not to make things the actual color that they are in the human body. Because I think we want to make it palatable. We don't want to gross people out. We want to teach them. Okay. And we want them yeah, to stay tuned in. Unfortunately happens, because if your cilia are not working, you end up with this. The art department consists of uh, someone who does graphics for us. Uh, I have outside prop people who go and shop everything. I have inside prop people who work on it. Then I have my carpenters and my painters. So literally I'm, you know, pointing and telling them. So, and then we get our hands dirty. So. This string goes on and on and on and on. Can you see that? I can't see that. Yeah, go, go ahead. Is that it? Yes. Now, you know what we're going to do here? Just as an effort to show how long these can get. This came out of somebody, you know. This, they're long worms. Oh, my God. Let's take us down to the front row. Everyone grab a little bit. Okay. okay. Tapeworm looks very much like Take pasta, away. but in a bowl, it just looks like pasta. I needed to make a whole lot of it, so we only had a few real parasites in the studio. So we used pasta to make a lot of the others. So if you just take the pasta and you hang it on a piece of monofilament in water, it instantly becomes tapeworm. This represented uh, spider veins. So these were, this was a, this is IV tubing. And so then we took a big syringe that was filled with like red liquid and attached it. Well, watch here. Okay. Wow. You see that? Yeah. You see, the, the, the bright red is the artery, yes. so you're pushing in new nutrients, uh -huh. and I'm trying to drain them off. But mm -hmm. when we have places we touch, we get connections, and those are where we actually will bulge out. Mm -hmm. this is typically then Dr. Oz took a needle, and he put it in here, and he put in saline solution and got rid of the liquid to show how people uh, use saline to get rid of their spider veins. Hmm. One of the great things about this show is we're able to teach people using actual body parts and or animal parts is one of the more visual ones. This is a colon. So it's sort of interesting to set up for a show because we'll set up a colon and then next I'll be doing, you know, like healthy rice and chicken right, you know, right on the table over Don't here. Worry.